So people have been asking, how are the spiders doing? The spiders are doing great. We're getting along, everything is fine. <laughs> Blink twice if the spiders forced you to say that. How's it going, boys? Today on Historic, we are doing what a lot of people wanted me to do. Create a Tome of Infinity deck that actually is Infinity. And we have done it. And when we're talking about Infinities, you're obviously using Paradox Engine. And when you're going Blue and Paradox Engine, you insert an Embry. Now, Emery may be not be a top-tier waifu, and Mommy Slanesh is a little bit angry about that with me, but that's okay, that is absolutely fine, because it is just flat-out the strongest combo. We are gonna do this, we're gonna make Infinity Man with Cold Steel Heart and Mindstone Cold Steel Heart on blue, so you can cast everything, a little bit of Ramp Explore, uh, Growth Spiral, Hey, Haze of Pollen, Cycling in the list uh, if we're not against the creature deck, and good turn, uh, a good way to survive longer, and Abundant Harvest. Now, this deck does not have four Aether Spell Bombs. I wanted to make this deck a little bit challenging, because we all know already on this channel very well the combo of Emery, Paradox Engine, and Aether, Aether Spell Bomb. This combo alone just, you know, wins games on its own. So, I'm gonna avoid it. That's why we have Abundant Harvest. But if you want to make this deck super consistent and win a lot of games, because remember, in Mythic, a top tier top 10 deck is an Emery Paradox Engine Infinity combo deck. Th this stuff just plays itself. Admittedly, in, in this combination, you should fit in a con to be extra safe, but, you know, options, options, options. So I'm using Abundant Harvest to just make it a little bit more challenging. At the end of the day, your boy barely knows the game he's playing. He doesn't understand a mana generation mechanic from a mana tapping mechanic. So what? Still top mythic player, what up? But despite me being awesome like always, this deck is very fun. Again, you can make it a lot more competitive if you wish, but for all purposes, this is perfection. Oh yes, and our real win condition is because I am not gonna wait for 50 years until I get lightning bolts, I am just gonna win with mill. Foil of Fancies to be exact. Foil of Fancies is very fancy. And, you know, it does fancy things. <laughs> Uh, it's pretty cheesy, it's pretty easy. You, you'll get what I'm saying a little bit later on. 22 lands to be specific, 2.4 average, but with this much uh, ramp and whatever, we, we are not too worried about not hitting the lands most of the time. And again, Paradox Engine is our uh, biggest piece that we need to hit most of the time, so it's not really that hard. Anyway, with that being said, I would be so, so pleased if you would just please like the video, and subscribe maybe while you're at it. Liking the video is the best thing on YouTube, it helps my channel go afloat. And recently, boys, you have been beating 1k average likes on the video. <laughs> my dead heart could not pound even more from that. I am truly, absolutely proud of you. I will also forgive that no one concedes against me when you know you're playing against me, which is a little bit sus that you intentionally try to destroy your boy with all you got. Again, a little bit proud about that, but despite that, there's also a Discord, link down in the description below, and a Patreon to support the channel directly. And with that being said, without any further ado, let's just get a cracking and see what happens now, shall we? One thing you should always expect from a Paradox deck Emery is that you're gonna start with either Emery on the opening hand or a Paradox engine, or it's gonna be extremely close. Essentially, most of the time, there is absolutely no way that Wizards is gonna uh, hide your Emery. Hello there, a Grugmish. That's very interesting. Haven't seen that in forever. For good reason, most likely. Most time, it's not really that good. But as you can see, here we have it. It's it's called a Paradox Engine. Say hi. A Paradisio Druid has expected. I could win this matchup just by saving a Haze of Pollen, not gonna lie. It is it is a possibility. So, Paradox Engine, one mana generation, and a Haze of Pollen. Technically, it's enough, considering we do have egregiously stupid cards like, where is it? Dark Ritual. Ah! Oh, no, that's, that's, that, that is correct. Okay, activate this. Let's see what we get. And it's, uh, I don't remember what this does. Oh, it's the Counterspell. 
up the F magic player really does not even know what cards he's playing most of the time. Hey! If you're mad about that, well, I'm sorry, but that's just life, okay? Some people are better than others, and I usually don't even have to try that much. It is what it is. You can either suck it up, or, you know, you can cry about it. And it looks like you have chosen to cry about it. Okay, let's see. This is not gonna go infinity, because I need two mana generation, sadly. Oh, well, there, there she blows. Ah, yes, the classic. A uh, blue. And now let's create something extra dextra. I think that's the correct play. And, dude! <laughs> no! 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 Can I cast... Oh, I can't even cast it on nothing. Wow! Dup, 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 dup. Wizards! Wizards! If, if, if he go, goes infinite now, I'm, I'm not gonna... Oh, no, he can't. Oh, because it's... Oh, no. He can still have it as a companion. So I guess it doesn't really matter too much, huh? <laughs> oh, my God. The thi okay, l let's try this mad magic thing again. Ah, yes. Double strike. Good. He has stuff, which can be double striked. Yes, thank you very much. That is, that is extremely coy, as they say. Let's see. Do this. Well, you know, why, 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 honestly, why not at this point? Dures is also a fine card, to say the least. Well, very duresable. I like it. I, I, I really like it. Okay, do this again. We are getting mana. Oh, look at that. I can't really cast this too much, huh? Well, sacrifices must be made. <laughs> If we're lucky, we can go infinity of this, but most of the time it's kind of it's it's kind of hard. Uh, destroy enchantment can't destroy that, but I can gain four sweet sweet life. Ah yes, I'm not gonna tap everything. I'm kind of looking for the card. Oh, do this another one. Thank you very much. And you know, th this is just how it goes. Th th this is just how it goes. Okay, now 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 we're talking about problems. Do this. Hey, come on. I should be getting my thingy. Oh my god, I'm getting... Man, I'm getting everything that's non-aimable. Okay, this this is fine, though. There's no... He can't play anything because, well, as ironic as this is. Uh, good luck, chief. Pay that one mana cost. See what happens. Oh, no, the horror. <laughs> <laughs> I should have actually tapped this while it's happening, so you know it's a little bit better. Uh, but this is this is absolutely fine. Hey, no one said that his turn is not just an extension of my turn. Oh yes, you know, it. it... Target cre. Oh wait, what? Why can't I use this? Viscosi. Okay, well, that's that's absolutely fine. I'm just gonna lightning bolt this guy now to oblivion and beyond. It's all... Why can't I use this? It makes no sense. Target creature gains double strike. Why? Is this a bug? I, r I really don't get... Why can't I just target creature blah blah blah? Also, it does put everything in the graveyard, by the way. Um, okay, very cool. Well, let's 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 just try again. Well, lightning bolt's not bad. Hey, we we may be able to kill him sooner or later. Who knows, right? Well, just do that again. Bam! Ah, <laughs> oh, wizards! RNG, baby! RNG at work! Ten cards. What are the chances to get three ferocious spikes in a row? Then lightning bolts. This to duress. Well, admittedly, we have almost got one of everything, but yeah, th this is the lowest percentile possible. If you do not understand, this is some magically how one of the lowest percentiles possible to pull off here. Uh, you know what? Wait, you have- no, you don't have a Garugamesh, so I'm just gonna do what any sane person would do. Pop my Paradox Engine, baby! I love the fact that we can just do it on the enemy's turn, and it's absolutely cheeky and peachy. 
Oh, look at that, again. Well, this time at least we can buff it. So, yeah. Target creature. I don't understand the principle of this on How? Why doesn't it work? It doesn't... Uh, yeah, you see, I can cast this. I knew it, but I did not know you cannot cast that. It kind of makes no sense at all. Huh. Very peculiar. Well, whatever, I guess. Yeah, but this is kind of like... Uh, a, a very interesting meh type of situation. The good part is now I can just press Q and everything happens. And yes, you get a giant's growth. And now I'm just gonna tap a little bit of things. Oh, look at that, Dark Ritual, finally, boys. We are looking mainly, honestly, for the card that gives you... I'm not even surprised at this point. Honestly, I shouldn't even be... <laughs> Oh, look at that! Hey, wait, wait a minute, that's actually useful. I'm sorry, wizards, are, are you feeling okay? And I need to tap this manually, sadly. But this guy's probably thinking, wait a minute, I'm gonna get lightning bolted to the face too much. Oh, of course, yeah. Uh, 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 wait a minute. Oh, now it allows me to target it with double strike? Sure! Sure, ab absolutely sure. Not even surprised? Is anyone surprised? Can, can I get another assault strobe or whatever it's called? Come on. Duress. Well, Duress is better than nothing. Well, now we know what's the one surprise card, you know? Ah, that, that's, that's real good. Oh, no one cares, the card. Yeah, I kind of expected him to be a deck that uses something like a crater. Oh, finally! Long have we waited. Long have we waited. Do I need any of this? Hmm. Eh. Okay, let's do it like that, I guess. Take action. There. Oh, good. We actually got a good one. We actually got a good one, boys. Abundant harvest. You need to fog? When did I even get... F Oh, I could put it. Okay, okay, okay. Fall, false alarm. I thought that I had somehow got it. It's, it's, it's absolute. <laughs> it's absolute. <laughs> oh. Oh, magic. Why? Man, he should surrender. He understands that there is a very low chance of him legitimately gaining success. I will lightning strike him more or less, most likely, down at this point. Because it seems like that's a better chance to get a Fey of Wishes and pop our true win condition, you know? But the fog is really nice, by the way. The, because there is the fog... Oh, because there is the fog, I think this card is gonna fit right at... Oh, Dark Ritual, not bad. But because of fog, I do think that there is a, a very, very good chance that uh, we can do something, for example, like... Non-land, right? Yeah, non-land. We can put this in a... Whatchamacallit deck. And it's gonna be absolutely astonishing. And yes, that is a minor misplay. Do I have... Mo yeah, I have mon left. So it's 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 all fine. It's it's all fine. Abundance. I only need one green mon to prevent myself from death. So it's fine. Oh! A mind stone. That's very cheek. I like it. Another one, essentially. A lightning bolt, huh? Well, he has only three more lightning bolts, boys. Three more lightning bolts, and we're and and we're claiming victory over the uh, the plebarianism. It's gonna be great, trust me. Oh fuck, boys! Doesn't prevent spell damage. That's like the best part about it. Oh, look at that. So, any, does anyone think that there's, like, an extreme, extremely higher chance to get a force spike at this point than anything else, wizards? You know, just asking for a friend at this point. The good part is, chances that he legitimately gets to play something, pretty close to zero. <laughs> pretty close to zero. And also, there is a chance... That I can turn this into the greatest gambling machine ever with Orzhov Colors. 
I was already contemplating it while making this deck. That we can potentially have... We're, we're literally gonna lightning strike the guy the guy to death first. Then we legitimately get, you know... I don't know. One of the draw cards? Please, at least give me a lightning strike. I really want the draw cards. Oh, Light of Hope. Well, he surrendered. Thank, thank God. So people have been asking, how are the spiders doing? The spiders are doing great. We're getting along, everything is fine. <laughs> Blink twice if the spiders forced you to say that. Indeed they did. It's a brutal life, but someone needs to live it. And Emery and Paradox Engine in the hand, and we go first. And that's a snow deck. Huh. I feel extremely safe because of that. What do I want to do? Do I want to risk it for a uh, growth spiral into uh, Emery? Or do I just drop the Emery and Abundant Harvest? Hmm. Ooh. Well, options, 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 as they say. That's pretty nice. Uh, yes. Wait. How is this even a thing? Is he just using the... Snowland as a... Oh! No, that still doesn't explain anything. Ah, <laughs> uh, funny. Okay, if we get one land, we get a Paradox Engine down, which means... Well, good stuff, good stuff. We have Haze of Fallen, which means... Well, this should be a relatively simple win. Unless he gets rid of the Paradox Engine, which seems extremely unlikely, but, you know, a life has done more unlikely things, let's just put it at that. Cat on purple for maximum luck. What's my best draw here? It is probably the tomb. Admittedly, Pollen Haze is seemingly gonna- Whoo! Oh, that's a bad life gain deck, dude. Why would you combine angels with this? Eh, uh, doesn't make a lot of sense. Maybe it's Cladix plus angels. Well, it is definitely Cladix plus angels, but that's a bad combination on average. It's like, you don't exactly need this if you already have all of this. Doesn't make a lot of sense, you know? But it's kind of fine. Let's see. Well, he attacks. I do have a lot of draws, which makes it all good. Ooh, that's a spicy one. Okay. Okay. I, I, boys. Boys. I think it's time to start the process. And this process is gonna be, well, pretty good. Pretty good indeed. Let's see what we can get rid of. Non-creature, yeah, that seems uh, about right. Uh, if I get the draw card, well, we win. This is also not bad for a variety of reasons. I can cycle something if I really deem it necessary. But at this point, again, we have pretty much one. Wow, now dark rituals. Dude, there is such an unbelievably high chance that it's insane. Okay, oh! A third Dark Ritual. Def nothing wrong with RNG, Wizards. T 10 out of 10 would probably RNG again. Uh, Lightning Bolt. You know what? Oh, why not? You like those things, I don't like those things. Hey, we can be a happy little family. Also, now I can do this. Plumb that bad boy down, draw a card, activate this. Get Emery to do a little bit of uh, mind games. Pop that down, and ta-da! We can just, you know, continue onward with our experience. That's great. This combos so well in so many different ways, it's absolutely insane. Oh, I could actually buff Emery if I also des uh, desire to. I didn't even think about that. We could make Emery into a galaxy-slaying beast, technically. Technically. Not necessarily necessary, but we could. Well, now it's a little bit too late because of the fog, but, you know, it's still definitely an option. Okay, do we get anything good? Paradox Engine, Fair Fish is uh, done. Decline, thank you very much. I, 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 I do appreciate it. And now we can drop the book. The book of many... Ooh, hello there. I like you. <laughs> We're gonna deal with all of his stuff. <laughs> ah, this is great. Uh, let's drop uh, drop it like this Okay, and you know, let's just keep on tapping things. Let us just keep on tapping things. I want another Ooh, well, I won't say no plus you are someone who wants to get that life So, you know, I will I will help. 
I am definitely what you would call a helpful person. Most people don't call me even a person, but that's absolutely fine. Emery, become buff. Thank you. And just rinse and repeat at this moment. If I could get another cold steel hot, it would be great. You know, a, a little bit of hope. It's gonna be probably not the easiest task, but, you know, definitely options. Ooh, a lightning strike. Well, I guess that's just gonna go here in that case, huh? Oh, that's double strike. I thought it's lightning strike for a moment, but it's fine. <clears throat> Another Duras? Yeah, sure, why not? Doesn't make too much of a difference. I like how no one surrenders, by the way. Just keeping the spirit of Mujik the Gathering alive, I see. Yes, very fancy. Very fancy indeed. A lot of clicking. Oh, can I please? Okay, okay, okay. I I'm gonna still banish everything this guy owns and has in life, so another paradox engine. Why do I even try? Why do I even try? Oh, God. Yeah, why do I even try, boys? That is the real question. That is the real question. I wonder what he's waiting for. Does he think he has a chance? Does he think my timer is gonna start happening? There is a chance of that honestly happening, but you know, it's kind of a low ball one, so yeah. Uh, how many can I draw? I can draw two, right? Yes, two is nice, two is, two is completely fine. Oh, look at that! Well, it is a playable land, so bonus points. And now I can do this again, and let's see what we get. A light's hope. I'm fine with that. Fog. <laughs> oh, it just does not end. It just does not end, boys. It is kind of funny. Okay, let's see. Another one of these. Why not? You own stuff, now you no longer own stuff. Okay, do I just want to honestly reset this? It could be like the right play at some point. I want to draw as much as I humanly possibly can to get another cold st- Oh, <laughs> God damn it. That, that's fine, though. That is, that, is, that is absolutely fine. Com completely in the risk tolerance section. Completely in the risk to tolerance section. Another one. <laughs> ah, kill me now. Well, world's biggest amity, here I come. At least no one has done that most likely in the history of probably ever. The problem is, how much can I do here? I can't cast those things. Uh, do I really just... No, no, no. Come on, just give me the... Uh, just, 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 just give me the thing that draws cards, wizards. You, you should be able to understand... Oh god, I'm actually starting the countdown clock. Okay, that is absolutely fine, though. <clears throat> Each player draws cards. You know what? Yeah, you, you, you did good. Here. Have three more cards. It's gonna be great, trust me. And Emery does nothing. So, I can counteract uh, his angel, or I can exile his angel. Doesn't really matter for us a lot, but, you know. Oh, oh, oh. I should really put something in the sideboard that gives mana, huh? <laughs> yeah, this is why you sometimes make sideboards so they make sense, not just a bunch of random cards so you can get the fanciness of putting Fae of Fishes in your deck. It's sometimes smart, you know, it's sometimes relatively smart to do that. Oh, that is absolute cuteness. Do it. See what happens. Do it. Do it. See it. Come on. Oh, wow! That is so impressive! How about not today? Yeah, it doesn't stop. Also, I can continue my shenanigans if I so choose to, but I am a nice person, so I will allow you to, well, do, do whatever the hell you're doing. Seven cards... Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you! Leave the Leave in the comment section below what do you think about the absolutely non- influenced RNG chance of getting a 1 in 10 card. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Definitely. Oh, I should have abandoned Harvest. That's eh, fine. I'm gonna drop the Cold Steel and it's... Oh, hello there. Unexpected colorations. A blue. Obviously, the second one's gonna be green, by the way, but you know, still. It is what it is. 
I could go for a land and then I could drop a mine stone and a tome. Oh, I got the la I got that anyway. So now I can do it like this. Jesus Christ. If he has hand disruption, dude, he's already done for. Ah, it's great. It is absolutely great. Ooh, Radiant Fountain. Very, very unexpected, not gonna lie. Okay, let's see what we can get out of this little bad boy. This little piggy went home, a lightning bolt. You know what? You know what? I'm 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 gonna say okay game. Okay. Yeah, that's not ideal, but we do have an abundancy of stuff currently. Kinda okay with that. Hmm. For situations like this, I should really prep a real exist uh, existing sideboard, honestly. You can spay a fish as otherwise is. Well, I can just... Oh. Well, now. If you insist. So, you're a discard deck? I don't know how I feel about the Radiant Fountain with a discard deck, though. Uh, yeah, defin de definitely doing what was intended by the fo uh, fo uh, by, by the fancy foils. Okay, let's see. Each opponent mills cards. Each opponent draws cards. Impossible. Let's, let's do this. Ooh, fog. Ah, just keep it like this. Uh, we can already start milling him. There's absolutely nothing wrong with this. And we only need one more mana and a paradox engine to make this this little bad guy bo go brrr without problems. We can already just get a paradox engine, by the way. And just, you know, use the tome first and then the folio fancies. But, you know, it, <sighs> options, options, as they say. Another land. Wow. So, so, so cool, wizards. So cool. Each player draws X. Uh, two, four, six, three, four. Good. This should be good. Ooh, finally an Emery. Ah, oh, this is one of those rare situations where you don't have an Emery at the opening hand, huh? Okay, this, this is absolutely fine, though. You don't need those cards anyway, my sweet, sweet summer child. Like, let's be real here. You don't. You just flat out d -d 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 don't. Cold Steel Heart. Emery is definitely a drop. Man, just having the tome is so much value. You can get so many good things. Especially for removal. Like, seriously. Many, many, many good things. Oh, Pyrexian, whatever it's called. Nice! How about you just don't, huh? How about that one? Now let's go for green. Uh, let's see what we can find here, okay? Ah, yes, nothing of value. Uh, let's do an Emery. Why not? And wow, very stingy, huh, wizards? Very stingy indeed. Green this time. Uh, do a spirally thing. Oh, another one. Okay. Very cool. What do I want to do? I'm, I have the fog, so I guess I'm just gonna do this. Yep. Well, might as well start somewhere, you know? Ooh! Interesting. Uh, yeah, this... I'm gonna say that this is it for the turn. So, what do we get? Nothing. All the Emery's... All the Paradox Engines are down at the bottom. Classic Wizards move, by the way. Classic, but it's fine. Hey, we're not facing Cotton decks, which absolutely obliterate this. Wait, there is still a chance he just drops a Cotton and calls it a day. But, you know, doubt? Doubt? Opponent? No one cares. Good. Giant's growth is useless. I like that it goes into your graveyard, so technically reshuffling the graveyard is like, uh, not today, thank you. Uh, eliminate. Well, I can't say no to an eliminate, honestly. Do I want a uh, few fishes? No, definitely not. That would just make everything worse. I can do this. I don't think he's doing anything else, honestly. So there you kind of go. <laughs> just taking it slow. This guy is playing a mono black deck in a completely the wrong matchup. Like, the moment we understood that he's just mono or black, yeah, it, 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 it was over. There is a chance he just pulls out a random Ugin, because, you know, make a bad deck, put an Ugin inside, congratulations, top tier deck, 10 out of 10. 
God, magic. Whoa! It's... It's beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. Oh. Be beautiful. Finally. Finally. Wait, what did that... <laughs> Are you kidding me? So, yeah. A dark ritual. That's at least a fine one. Watch this. Mill! Oh, I'm sorry. Did you want those cards? I'm sure you didn't. I'm, I'm very sure you didn't. Uh, untap everything. It is absolutely fine. I also can sack one of those. Uh, let's just do that again now. Why, why, why not, you know? Why not? Tap. It would be safer, by the way, if I just go for the super obvious big brain play of being smart and drawing, like, a couple of cards. You know what? I'm actually gonna do that, yeah. I am actually gonna do that. I'm gonna draw... Three... Four... Four cards. <laughs> Jesus Christ, RNG my ass. Ah, uh, there's not a single person who believes RNG even can take these forms without extreme interventions. But it is absolutely fine. It, it's too late to stop us. It, it is just flat out honestly too late to stop us. Look at this. Two more mills and our boy is out. Strike one, you know. And there we go. Also, I do enjoy finally milling someone with folio fancies. Like, winning with Folio of Fancies is always just a tremendous pain. This, this deck makes it extremely easy and, you know, viable and stuff. Ta-da! Nice. As you can see, the deck is extremely strong. Either, even without the Aether Flux Bomb, it still does very good. We played three games and we won three games, which is, well, good. Good, what else can I say? Anyway, that's pretty much the deck. It's a pretty fun one. It's a tedious one, admittedly, but it is definitely a fun one. So, this was Quizzer Since End. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out the channel, check out Discord, check out the Patreon, and have a nice day. Bye-bye.